New at five, a dispute that could impact the well-being of millions of military children. Civilian children's hospital programs across the country and here in Hampton Roads could face severe cutbacks if lawmakers don't reverse a recent Defense Department rule change. Mike Gooding has details. Over 2.4 million military children receive medical care from civilian children's hospitals through TRICARE annually. But those hospitals say they could face severe cutbacks if lawmakers don't reverse a Defense Department rule on health care reimbursement. At issue is a DOD rule change in fall 2023, which changed payment rates for TRICARE patients at non-military children's hospitals and cancer treatment centers. Members of the Children's Hospital Association warn the issue is already leading to drastic rate reductions, which may impact access to care in some of the major defense communities across the country. 20 lawmakers, including Virginia Senator Tim Kaine and all four members of the Hampton Roads House delegation, this week sent a letter to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. They wrote, as you know, a robust TRICARE network for pediatric care is critical to the sustainment of our armed forces. By their estimation, um, CHKD will see a decrease of several million dollars. Bryant Thomas is vice president for advancement at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters in Norfolk. What we want to do is make sure that we're playing our part um, to sure that when our military members are going away on these crucial and critical missions abroad, that they don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to have access to care for their family members at home. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. A group called the Military Coalition sent out a letter in May warning lawmakers that the reimbursement problems, quote, have the potential to risk the health of military kids, harm quality of life for those serving our nation, and ultimately undermine mission readiness.